Hello, wearables community. Today we will talk about something that is not obligatory for the course, but might help some people to use in their final project or even in Lab 2 ECG if they would like to. One problem that we figured out um, a while ago was that the serial monitor can just save about 300,000 lines um, when we collect data. Since we're collecting ECG data with very high sampling frequency, I think in the beginning we said that we wanted to collect data with a thousand hertz. Um, this would mean that um, if you collect um, data with a thousand hertz, you would reach the 300,000 lines within five minutes and then the serial monitor starts to delete the first lines and um, to being able to add new lines again. For the resting experiment and also for the exercise experiment, we would like to have at least 10 minutes of data, which means um, that thousand hertz just don't work there. For the course itself and for lab two, it's totally fine if you, if you use 500, if you use a sampling frequency of 500 hertz. And um, if you download the code from the GitHub repository, lab two code one, this is actually set for 500 hertz. You can easily change that if you change the variable of the sampling frequency, I'll show that to you later. But if you'd like to collect either like longer data, let's say um, you wanna collect, want to collect 20 minutes of 500 hertz, because if you do 500 hertz, you can just do 10 minutes with the 300,000 lines. If you wanna collect, um, let's say data for 20 minutes with 500 hertz, or even for 20 minutes with a thousand hertz, we'll have to use something else. And today I'd like to, to show you how you can connect serial communication instead of um, do, using the serial monitor of the Arduino IDE. Um, we can collect connect it to Python and then um, collect as much data as we want with Python and then save the data set with Python automatically. I've prepared a data set for you guys, or sorry, I have prepared a code for you guys that you can also just download from the, from the GitHub repository and you can use it and it should be easily implementable. Is that a word? But yeah, you can implement, you should be able to implement it pretty easily um, for people who want to. As I said, it's not obligatory, but let's just dive into the topic right now. Here we go. So this is, if you download the GitHub repository, this is how your lab two code one should look like. It might be depending on when you downloaded it, this is that this is still a thousand hertz, um, but if you download the most updated one, it will be 500 hertz if we didn't change it afterwards again. So, um, depending on which sampling frequency, you just need to change this one number. So 500 is 500 hertz. If you would change this to 1000, then it would be 1000 hertz, okay? So as I said before, as long as this is 500, we can collect 10 minutes of data, which means it, that that's about 300,000 lines. It's not exactly 300,000 lines. It's, I guess it depends on the computer and, this, and the, um, yeah, the computer that you're using. So let's now upload this data to our microcontroller. I'm not filming the microcontroller today. Um, it's basically the ECG system. Um, it's connected to the microcontroller. And now um, let's see if where we're connected. If we're connected here, support. Yes, we're connected. I have the Arduino Uno. Um, so I can upload the file here. And what we usually did was we usually opened the serial monitor or the serial plotter change the baud rate to 500,000. And then we have here, we have the heart rate activity or we have the electrical activity of the heart. And here we have the time. I have not connected the electrodes to my body right now. So it just outputs always between 330 and 314, some a value like this. If I would have connected it now, then it would like always um, make the peak of the QRS um, complex and so on. So this is really just to show you how to use a serial monitor, not to show you how the ECG itself works. So if we would now do this experiment with 500 hertz and just lie back and then do it for 20 minutes, at, after 10 minutes, it will start to delete. Um, if I stop auto, auto scroll, it will start to delete the numbers here in the beginning and to being able to add the numbers here. But maybe there is a reason why you guys would like to collect 20 minutes and have the full data set. And that's where the Python serial communication comes into context, okay? Let's have a look at this now. So if I open my, my Python here, then if you download the new and updated lab to GitHub repository, you will actually find in the provided Python functions, I think that's what it's called, let me see here, 
PPK to UTG provided um, Python functions, you will find this new code that is called Python serial. And this Python serial will be the code that you can use to actually collect the data from the Arduino. But before we do this, we also need to install the library, which is the um, serial library. We also need to install this on our computer. So for this, you guys can resume. Write this here, conda install pi serial into your console and click enter. And then you'll have to wait for a few minutes. In my case, it will probably tell us that it is already installed. Let's see. So yeah, um, whoops. So yeah, all requested packages are already installed. If you do this, um, it will show you that it will install it and that might take a few minutes. After you have installed all of it, all of it, that's actually everything that you need to do. And from this moment on, we can collect the data. Um, let me go a little bit into the most important parts here of the code. So first of all, what's really important is you have to change this here to the port that your computer is using. You can find the port by going to your Arduino, going to tools, and then this here, this is what you have to write into this port that I just showed you. So this here, that um, this def cu dot blah, 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 and so on, and the exact number, which might um, every single time you um, connect your microcontroller to a USB, if you use a different port, it might always change. So you always have to check if this here is the right one, okay? Because if I would, for example, say 20 here, and I would run this now, it will tell me that it couldn't open the port because there is no directory like this, okay? So let's go back here. So this is the first thing that's very important. The second thing is the serial communication or the baud rate has to be the same baud rate as we always have, or like as we're using in our code. So here we're using 500,000 uh, megabits per second. So we also need to use the 500,000 here. And then also this code is specifically to collect two columns of data. So we can use this for any code, it doesn't matter, but it has to be for two columns of data. If, if you just do have one column, so maybe let's say just the activity, uh, the electrical activity of your heart and not the time, it will not work. And also if you have three columns, it will also not work. So this is specifically for two columns. And then the last thing is you can change the name here. It will automatically, after um, the code has ran or after you're done with the data collection, it will automatically save a text file. And the text file will be saved in your working directory. So wherever you're opening, um, wherever you're saving the Python serial code. And you can change the name here to whatever you would like, okay? The last thing that is very important now is that we cannot open the serial monitor at Arduino as long as we want to open it with Python. So if, for example, I will, oh, well, I'm not connected anymore. Here. If we will open the serial monitor here and it runs while well, this is open and we try to start it here, it's not possible. So it will always give us an error because the serial monitor or they can just connect with either the Arduino or the Python. So you can either connect with Arduino or you can connect with Python, which means that we need to, we need to close this here so that it stops the communication here. And then if we start the collection here, it will say data is collecting. So at this point you can then light on and just chill and collect your data. So as long as it's saying data is collecting, it will collect your ECG data um, as long as you want. So if you wanna stop the data collection, you need to like, you'll you do the same with the Arduino um, software. You just disconnect your microcontroller so you can see it, but I'm disconnecting my microcontroller now. And then it says data collection standard, have a great day. Um, and your text file is now safe or your data is now saved as a text file. and it's exactly the same file as you would get if you would copy and paste it from the serial monitor. One last thing is that it will save the text file with all your data in the working directory that you're in right now. So there is no path um, selected, which means that if you're working from a specific, let's say I'm, I'm working from this folder with my Python serial code, it will also save the file in this working directory. You can either then just take it and save it somewhere else if you want to, you can leave it here, or if um, 
if you really wanna ha want want it to be saved automatically in a different folder, you can also change uh, the name here. You can also say path one, path two, and then it will save it to the specific path you want it to be saved, okay? But for now, it's just automatically saving it to the working directory where you where the um, the code, the Python serial code is saved at this moment. That's it with the short video today. I hope it helped you. If you're keen on collecting a little bit longer data, if you wanna do a an exercise experiment that needs a little bit more time or higher um, data or higher sampling frequency, you can also use this. And obviously, like if you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope that it will work as well as it looks like. It will work as well for you as it looks like on this video for me. Thank you and see you guys soon. Bye-bye.